All right, all right. Welcome back you to another episode of Pressure with your girl Alicia Jazzy Sweets and Treats. And today I got a special episode. I'm kicking back. I'm laying back. I'm gonna watch somebody else cook. I got a special guest that's gonna cook one of my favorites with their own spin and twist. And it's one of Baton Rouge's own. So we're gonna just chill and wait on our guests to come. I'm gonna try to make sure everything's situated in the kitchen. For boom! There they go. There they go. There they go. Let's go. Whoa, what sound? What sound? What sound? I know that ain't the Don, huh? Oh, yes, it is. Okay, Trump the Don in the house, y'all. Trump the Don in the house. So, look, I told him you was coming through. You was cooking one of my favorites, but you finna put your own spin on it. Real pressure shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you mind if I kick back and, and, and fall back and I let you do your shit? Because I'm finna let you take over the kitchen. Yeah, if it's my kitchen, get your ass on. Ooh, take your lick, Jazzy. Take your lick. Well, I'm with that, boo. Let's, let's, let me see what you got popping. First of all, I want you to wash your hands because you know we, we oh, wash yeah, everything yeah. and season everything in this bitch. You heard me? So we're going to do it like that. Yeah, so what you been up to, man? What you been up to? What's been going on? Uh, you know, entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Actually, that's surviving, trying to do everything I can without working for nobody. So what you got for me today, man? What's popping? What you doing today? Well, today we doing a curtain fried turkey wing. With shrimp on top, covered with my sauce. Okay, with your sauce. You got your special sauce. Okay, then. Okay. So, um, go ahead on and um, start whipping that up and let me know what seasonings you use and stuff like that. I want you to show me the full technique. So, if I want to, you know, double back and get my motherfucking Trump on, get the Trump the Don on, I know what I'm doing. And then my viewers, they also know, you know, if they want to try this for themselves, you know. Well, let's get so, we're going to go ahead on and get started. Any new projects you have coming up? Uh, yeah. No, man, fuck all that. I want you to take the people to the beginning. Mm -hmm. I want you to take them to the very beginning. How old were you when you first decided you wanted to even get into the entertainment business? Uh, five. Five? Yeah. Okay, yeah, they, they start that young. Five, okay. So at five, year old, at five years old, you was rapping or, you know... Five. Putting on, you can talk and cook your food on. This is the thing. So like my daddy went to jail, right? Mm -hmm. So like my uncles, watch back. Uh, doing too much damn shit. Okay. But uh, my uncles, he used, to, he used to do his rap thing or whatever like that. But he ain't never uh, embrace it to himself. But he forced it on me because. Is he that I'm going to jail or he finna embrace this on me early and that's what we doing. And still something in you to yeah, be but he different. he know I was gonna really take a liking to it like mm -hmm. I did. He thought this was gonna have to be forced. So couple of doors down, I got a partner of mine, we like best friends to this day, like he rapping. So he come down the street. You know, he make us freestyle against each other all day. So that kind of helped you to get your, um, you know, swag together. Going back and forth with your partner, you know. Right. At I, a young age, anyway. So what kind of seasons you put on that turkey wing? I ain't mean to cut you off, because I, I want to I make well, sure I get the business First of all, you got to ball this first. That's a two-hour job. Okay, so okay, yeah. You're going to ball it first with for, like, what? crab ball, mm -hmm. onion, garlic, um... And a little dab of what's the sauce. Okay, so you season it to your taste, to your liking it. Right. Right, okay. And um, you boiling it for two hours. And um, you don't do no flour, no base, no no cold nut. I see that, okay. None at all. Okay. So um, from five, um, when did you actually put out any, like, music? So when was the first time you ever put out some music, actually? First time I ever put out some music, I was 15. Uh, it was, like, my ninth grade in high school. Um, man. You took it serious then. If you went from five and you still, you know, you well, put something out. this is the crazy part. My mama, I'm recording this mixtape. She like, I won't hear every song because I know where you going when you leave this house. Uh -huh. Or whatever like that. She was like, I want to hear every song before you put anything out. So I go record. So I got to record two songs in one day. And I'm working at Jack No, I'm working at the movie theater at this. So I'm taking all my little change from the movie theater. Putting it into your craft. Fucking right. Right. Yeah. So that's that's why I don't like people with excuses. Because I left from, I go from school, work, studio, 
Be back home. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Excuses is only good for the motherfucker that's using them. So that don't get no play in Jazz's kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Right. So what are um you just browning in? Right. How you do know you know this? when you flip and since it's already boiled? I mean it's it's a it's according to how you like your turkey wing. Gotcha. If you some people like them soft, some people like it in the middle, I some like people mine. like them hard. Yeah, I like mine crunchy. I like mine crunchy. Yeah, I like mine crunchy. Especially if you're going to be putting a glaze on top of it because you said you have a you sauce. Tell me a little bit about your sauce. So, here we got this sauce. We're going to use this right here. It's a queso. Okay. So, we're going to take this queso. Ooh. I see where you're going already with this shit. Right. Take a little queso. And then take a little milk. Mm hmm. Not too much because you want it to be thick, but you just want to break it up a little bit. So I guessing you saying about one third or one fourth in kind of measurements, or you just measure with your heart? <laughs> my grandma taught me to measure with my heart. So. All right, got you. Me too. I tell everybody. I see them with the answers. Like she say, you gonna know if you messing up. Right. So you gonna put that in a little dab of butter. We go with the seasoning. Mm -hmm. Let tonus. Not too much though. Because, oh yes, tony. But not too much because you already you don't want to collide with the seasoning that's already in between and all and all through the turkey. Right, right. Okay. So pepper, black corn, corn pepper. I mean. Too much pepper. Nah. Okay. All right. I got you. All right. I, got you. I said I was gonna fall back now. Micromanaging this shit. <laughs> Let garlic. I like garlic. Yeah, me too. And hey, you know garlic good for your immune system? It is. Yeah. Bad for your breath, good for your immune system. I ain't lying. <laughs> All right. You're going to take that and you're going to sit that in the microwave. It should look like that. Let me see. Ooh. You're going to sit that in the microwave for about two minutes. Mm -hmm. So, okay. You see, I know the <laughs> duck and move <laughs> with my shit. I'm yeah. Okay, so you just warming it up at this point, right? Or whatever. You doing that after, before? Is it a certain time that you warm it up? I let that sit for a little second. Okay. We are gonna work on that shrimp. Okay. okay. You hear me? All right. I use full, easy pair jumbo shrimp. Devane, right? Devane. My boy. Know your shit. This when you know your shit, folks. You gotta know your shit. So look, we gonna use a little. First, we gonna put the butter in that here. Mm -hmm. Drop mm -hmm. that in there like that. I always do everything I do cold before I heat it up, like putting my seasoning on stuff there like that. Go. I always do that there cold. So we gonna take a little old beige sprinkle it on there like that, though. We do that out the week. A little seafood magic. Okay. That's the name of it, we are. And who made that chef who? Uh, chef Paul. Okay. It's another uh chef. It's a New Orleans season. Oh, and then she's so off the chain with your seafood. Uh, it's by Chef uh somebody. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna have to let you know when I when it comes to my mind. It's like the tip of my tongue. But it's real good. Kind of pricey they, though. They got their own meats or something like that? I think so. I think, you know what I'm talking about then? I think so because I think my wife like these baked potatoes from this, this certain place. That, mm -hmm. uh, it's like, is it on the West Bank? See, um, I don't, I don't think it's on the West Bank. I don't think this place is on the West Bank. Well, well you saying the place that sell the potatoes. Yeah, I think that might be the same place you're talking about. I don't know. I don't know. So you just sauteing your little shrimp and your butter. Oh, yeah. Okay. Really just moving that butter around in that pan and with it all milk. Keep it nice. But you don't want too much butter because you want to really blacken it almost. Mm -hmm. Cause that's what the seafood magic seasoning really does. It blackens it. 
Okay. Don't worry about the butter rubbing off the seasoning because it's going to end up eventually coming back together on it. Mm -hmm. All right, let that do that. All right, so any, um, I don't know, uh, any new projects coming up? We got a couple singles. We got a couple things in the clutch. I'm really... When you say we, who is we? Me and my wife. You and your wife? Yeah. Your wife rap? No. Okay, so she's A&R, stuff like that. Your yeah. management, basically. Basically. All that, right, that's okay. That's my accountant, my yeah, secretary. that's how they go. That's how they everything. go. That's how they go. That's how they go. That's how they go. So, um, what you say you have um, coming up, you and your wife? I mean, we got a couple of singers. We got vocal stuff lined up. It, it's basically, we, we just trying to move strategic right now. We was going to put out a project, but so I put out a project, and I'm going to make just as much off a single. Okay. Like, so. Okay, so um, <clears throat> anybody featured, or is it just you? On this project, no, it's just me. Okay, okay, okay. I did that feature stuff with my last project. I had, I had Kevin Gates on the last project. And, and when was that one? That was like four years ago. Okay, and what was the name of it? So I can check you out. The name of the single was Can't Fall In Love featuring Kevin Gates. Okay, okay, okay. So it's a slow song, or tell me how, tell me a little bit about it. I don't know, that, cause that one mixed with techno, dubstep, it, it got some of everything. Yeah. It's, even the Michael Jackson up in that song. Okay, okay, so how was this a vibe? Really? Okay. All right, well, that's what's up. So, um, so you been cooking, or this just a hobby, or you had a restaurant background, or what? Like, give me some of your cooking well, tea, you know? I bet, I ain't gonna lie. I grew up in the house with my grandmother on my daddy's side and my grandmother on my mama's side, and both of them could cook. And they did. Right. Yeah. So, I'm a mama all the child, and I'm, I'm the favorite on both sides. So, I'm always up under my grandmother if I ain't running around in the oh, street. Oh, you was four, huh? No. Tell the truth. You ain't? That's what everybody you say, but baby, I don't man. say, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm not, we not even finna do that. <laughs> I'm playing, that's what it is. Grandma, baby. I respect, I'm a but, grandma, baby. <laughs> but like, she had, oh, um, but like, good. nobody never really taught me how to cook. I just watch what they do, and I just go up and down and try to do it on my own when everybody sleep. Mm-hmm. And she... It come out right. So, but my daddy, my daddy a big influence on that because that's all he used to do. And he'll cook for, he just cooked for the see people, uh, emotions. Yeah. Yeah, that's not, I'm, I'm, I'm that kind of cook too. So let me ask you this. Um, did your mom do a lot of cooking? Hell no. Nah. Okay, because that's how it was in my house. My <laughs> mom ain't do no lot of cooking. My stepdaddy was a beast, though. My right. stepdaddy wasn't in the play with me. To be honest, I, and she probably going to kill me for saying this, and we're going to take this out of the grease. Okay, so do we need any t paper towels or? Yeah. Okay. You want to drain your turkey wine? Mm-hmm. You know what I got on? Got that feel like, you know, if you don't have that feel life, get on and you're not on life. You're dead out here. Wake up. Don't sleep. You're fresh. Feel life just comedy going. Don't be foolish. So, sure. We got our turkey wing now. Strain. And you want to immediately put the seeds on top because you want to stick. Thanks. But not Thanks. too much because remember, it's seasoned all through. Already. The, yeah. Through your boiling process. It's already been steeped. Yeah, but you can also you can also do this bake. Okay, right. I probably wouldn't. Eat, I mean, it, I know it'd be good bake, but that fried is just hit different. Like yeah, that I shit gonna hit different with a cheese sauce. Come on now, I know. Oh, tell me about it. Now look at them shrimp. You got them shrimp looking good and smelling good up in here. I'm telling you, you got it smelling real good. Yeah, that just really easy peasy. So, um, you always wanted to cook, or tell me, I want to know like how you jumped off into this thing. Man, to be honest with you, like about six years ago, I had got laid off from work. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm newly married, freshly married. It is like my second year. 
man, I ain't know what I was going to do. So I was like, man, babe, I'm going to buy me some turkey wings. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, babe, I'm going to buy some turkey wings. She like, huh? She, I was like, yeah. She was like, all right. So I actually do it and just get the slang in the mug. And she was, she was like, let me taste that. So she tastes it. She was like, man, uh-uh, this tastes just like my grandma. Everybody know her grandma in the hood is Moolah, and she got the famous turkey wing. Man, she we post up at her mama's house, get the slang in them, but they wasn't making as much money as, like, the money wasn't adding up for the keep going with the bill, so I left her alone. Right. I go back to work at the job, like, a year ago. Mm -hmm. The same exact thing happened at the same job, so I say, you know what? Find me my own hustle. Well, I can't get laid off. <laughs> I say, I I can't sell these turkey wings for no three dollars. So we gotta figure out something to make Turn this a twelve dollar plate. Yeah. So I whip up my sauce, start putting stuff together. You know, you get full of your little herbal essence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whipping stuff together and put that together. You and came up with some pressure, man. With some pressure. Straight pressure. That's how they go. Okay, okay, so. We got our turkey wing all fried up and seasoned. What's the next step? Because I'm ready to eat. All right, so <laughs> next we're going to put this in the microwave. Okay. And for two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. All right, two minutes. So in these two minutes, you can let me know um, where to follow you and stuff like that. On Instagram, on there's Trump underscore D A underscore Don. Okay. Okay. And Facebook, I mean, you can look me up under my real name, Justin Dozier. Okay. I don't really care about people knowing that. So. Well, they gonna when they uh, search you in the future, you know, when you make it to where you gotta be, they gonna find out your real name anyway on Wikipedia. Most That's definitely. That's what we're trying to get to, huh? Most yeah. definitely. So, yeah, definitely. Okay. And you got the black and shrimp, the homemade black and shrimp. Speaking of them shrimp, let me put them on top. Oh, so you do your shrimp on top first and then do your glaze? Yes. Oh, talk your shit. I like how you just placing them with your leg. <laughs> Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, another little reason why I started cooking, like, my mother-in-law, and God bless her dad, she used to feed the neighborhood or whatever like that. You right, so Betty used to feed everybody, but at the same time, like, her her grandchildren never had to, won't uh, have to go looking for nowhere for to eat. Right. So now her grandchildren, which is my turn, so, like, I got to make sure they straight. I respect so that. Like, That's yeah. dope. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That is what's up. Yep. Keeping the name alive. Keeping it alive. I bet that, that's, I mean, I bet the family just love you, though, especially your wife, because I know her personally. And I'm going to tell you where I came in trying your food, because this uh, I tried a steak of yours. And I also tried the crawfish. Now, that was the first thing I was sold with. Now, I'm a crawfish eater. I love seafood. And um, she had some crawfish one day, and your wife, and she put it on Facebook. Catch that? So she put it on Facebook, and I seen it, and I was like, oh, they look so good. And she was like, well, you want to try some? She ended up texting me because I can't say this on Facebook. You know, it's a lot of people on Facebook. I can't offer everybody nothing, but, you know, right. she's like, you want to try some? I say, yeah. And she ordered some chocolate covered strawberries for me, so it was just perfect. It went, went hand in hand. We just made us a nice little exchange. Boy, when I went home, I was trying to drive and taste them bitches. I said, no, I'm always telling you, honey, it was smelling good. That Romo's going to take me out. You see what I'm saying? Man, when I got home to eat them bitches, Justin, I hurry up and hit your wife back. I say, oh, this money, free the money. Tell him he need to boil this shit and sell it, man. He can make money, like yeah, real money. It's coming. It's good. It's coming. It, it was real good. We just And then I ate them more than once because she gave me something like three times that you boiled them in. Each time it tastes the same, and that's what I look for. If the food don't taste the same every time, I don't want it. Got to put this on that foot. Lock up. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we, um, mm -hmm. we got everything coming together. So, like, 
We don't get on back up that. Sliding all over and shit. I think it's me. <laughs> I'm looking, staring too hard. That, that energy. I'm telling you, staring too hard. But, uh, yeah, man, we we got this stuff coming together. People don't even know I got the rawest. Like, I ain't even going to stunt. I ain't going to cap. Well, I, I could speak. I could stand behind you with that crawfish shit. And you doing that. And I know I know how to boil crawfish, too. So if you can stand and, I, I, you know, I'll let you take over. That's just how good you is. Like, somebody else, I'm micromanaging in the kitchen like a motherfucker outside on the pots. I'm micromanaging them, too. So, sure, but yours, I, I'll let you do your shit. All right, so we got the white little cheese on there, and we use parsley just for because you you want to look good while you eat. Presentation is everything. All right. Ooh, that's it, though. So shoot it. There we go. All right, that shit look good. Let me see. Bring it over here. Let me see. Let me get a good look at it. Bon appetit. Oh, pressure. I love this. Then you got it fried real crispy. Hell yeah, let me get a fork though. <laughs> Hold on, gotta, you know, wash out. Learn, he pick up quick. <laughs> Sorry, right. You show sure what from Big Mama now. I don't even know why I want to come in there with this. So I'm going to just take one of these shrimp. Those people I'm trying to get. Like Booster said, I want the whole wop. Might be local for a minute, but I'm strolling to the top. Let me get this here. What we got? I got one word. Pressure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this shit season right. I told you. This shit season right. You did your titty. Man, y'all look, y'all make sure y'all like this up. I'm gonna get Justin to y'all see all his ingredients. I'm gonna get Justin to come tap in with me one day and wherever we pull up at Justin, we're gonna make this shit work. You think you'll make this shit work on the outside? Hey, you my know what pull I'm up saying? game six, so it's pull up game work. strong. I'm gonna hold you to that shit, man. I'm gonna hold you to that shit. We're gonna have to put some shit together. And, and Betty's honor, because she feed the hood. I wanna feed the hood too. That's kind of really where I was with it. A lot of people don't know. Like, when I cook, on the days that I don't sell out, I go give it to the homeless. But you'll never catch me taking a picture of it or yeah, none of that shit because I ain't with thing, it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It ain't for sure. I'm really doing it from my heart. So, you the I first really... I think I understand me. Yeah, I really... Um, I appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate you for stopping by. This shit really good. I ain't doing no capping. If it wasn't right, you would see it in my eyes. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> we wouldn't even be here if this shit wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? Because I done already tried your food. But um, I just want to tell you to continue with your craft. You know, your food is good. Your attitude is great. You you may not be a big people person because I feel like we share that. But the type of stuff you have, you have to put this out there. You know what I'm saying? You got to let people experience the other side of you because it's deeper than rap. Right. Uh -huh. But so. by not being a people person, even though I'm a cook, I still cannot be a people person. Yeah, you still can behind the scenes that thing. You fucking right. But I'm just saying, the type of per the type of food that you have, I don't want you to keep that shit to yourself. That's right. all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Let the share that shit. Share that shit. Sure. But I want to thank you again for coming by. I'm going to finish up my food or whatever, but I don't need everybody all of my business in my face. I want to smash this shit. You heard me? So, um, <laughs> you know, we're going to close out. And again, I want to thank you. For stopping by and fucking with your girl, I appreciate it, and I want to wish you nothing but the best, my brother. Appreciate you, and the same to you. All right, pressure.